the uh, the pass to Rodney just left the inside. Yeah, I, I I tried to back the shoulder in it, and the ball got away from me, and threw it inside, and that was all on me. Just that through. Pitcher, what's it mean to win a game where you guys didn't you didn't play well? You yeah, I, it was huge. I, mean, I, I, I got to thank my teammates, I and mean, they pulled me out of it. Uh, you know, I didn't put us really give us a chance at all to, to win. And defense played really well, and then the guys around me played really well, and um, you know, we were able to pull it out. And I think I just. just Proves the character that we have on this team, and you know, I'm very fortunate. What's that do for you going forward? Cause, I mean, in the past, it seemed like games like this they would slip away from you guys. Mm -hmm. but I think it's big time. I think, like I said before, it just proves the character that we have, and, and we got to just keep keep the right attitude. And, and I agree. I think in the past, you know, I think we would have struggled and, and probably wouldn't have won this game. And um, you know, I think obviously for me, there's a lot of learning from this game, but. Um, you know, we gotta we gotta enjoy it. And we always gotta enjoy victory. So. Talk about the uh, the game winning touchdown and, and that play and what what they what you guys saw when you made that call and you know did you think it would work out the game? Uh, I don't know if we expected to, to score a touchdown, but we just uh, I mean they were playing the run well all game and, and we just tried to misdirection had had Bird on a reverse and uh, I mean Bird's been been pretty successful in the reverse and um, you know, kind of just faked the option, came back and Bird came around the, from the slot receiver and. Uh, Taiwan made a great block, and then they was able to spring him for that long touchdown. That was huge for us. So, uh, Bert says uh, he and Taiwan switched positions on that. Did you know that? I mean, were you expecting Taiwan to get the ball? Or? No. Well, Bert's usually a reverse guy, so it's usually when, when it's called to him that they, they switch positions, and um, and that, that's kind of how we repped it all. How we turned the practice. So, I'll call you back. You surprised? I mean, on the play before that, back. he took a pretty big shot on, uh, yeah, on a quick did. little out, and uh, I mean, it popped back right back up. Yeah, he did, and. and you know, he, he, he did a great job. I mean, he really stepped up for me personally, and um, you know, he saved my butt. And, and after he, I mean, yeah, he took a pretty good shot. It was a little pop, and they brought blitz, so it threw it out soft coverage, and uh, the defensive back played it pretty well. But um, for him, they would come back and bounce right back, and the next play go for a big touch. I don't know. I, I mean, they, they're a great team. They, they, that's probably one of the best defenses we play all year. And, um, they really capitalized on the mistakes, and I made a lot of mistakes, and then that kept them in the game, and they played really well. And um, yeah, a lot of those defensive guys, I mean, they're, they're really disciplined in what they do, and, and they play really hard. What's you the prospect for your uh, versus set? I'm, I'm fine. I mean, I, you know, I'm probably going to get a drain, and, and after that, I'll be fine. So. You guys put your defense in precarious position all, all day, and for them to hold them to just four field goals, every every one of those stops. Be, as it turned out, was important for them yeah, to was, give up a touchdown. Yeah, it was unbelievable what they did, and you know, I, I put them in a lot of bad positions, and, and they came out for me, and, and, and they played extremely well. And uh, I'm, I'm extremely proud of what they've done, and, and for them, I mean, that, they won us this game. I, mean, I, I did everything to lose this game. They, they no. won. Us. You had a few throws that seemed like they were late floating out there. Was there a reason for that? Uh, no, I mean, it's just, just one of those days for me. I mean, it wasn't. Uh, no excuses. I mean, uh, I made a lot of mistakes and missed some throws. So. Did, did, did your did your coaches know your arm was hurt? Or? Yeah, he know. He know. You talking about the touchdown to Bell? Yeah, we uh, you know we've been running that belly play a lot and, and just faked the belly and knew that those linebackers would bite up and um, had Bell right down the middle. I mean, they were playing cover two, which leaves that open that middle of the field wide open and. Um, you know, so, so basically it worked like we were playing it the whole time. Christian, that last drive was kind of like what they did to you guys a few years ago. I mean, mm -hmm. just talk about eating that last eight. Like it, it was huge. I mean, when we got whatever, four minutes left in the game, and, and you know, when we get that ball, we're, we're trying to run that clock out. We had a couple of huge first downs, and, and we were able to finally get that running game going, and, um, and we were able to close it out. Can you, talk about what Ty gave you on, can you talk about what Ty gave you on that last drive? Because he wasn't in there a lot before that last series. Yeah, well, I mean, we had some, some crucial short yardage plays, and, and he's a big back and is able to you know, lower his shoulder and get those few yards. And I mean, he's still battling an ankle injury, but that was that was huge for him to come out there. It's and very we, important. We, we've struggled the past couple of years um, being up and down. and. Um, you know, I, I think past couple of years in, in this game that we, we had today, I don't know if we would have won it. And um, so our, our attitudes have changed, and, and the mentality and the character on the, the guys on this team has changed. And um, you know, we're rolling right now. And, and we came out with a close win today, but um, we got to forget it because we got a huge opponent next next time. Is that something that Coach Fisher's emphasized? Just consistency, not not getting too high in the Miami's, just keep going. Yeah, definitely. I mean, and it, it just really goes back to all how we practice. We can't be up and down in practice because that's going to relate to how the season goes. And um, you know, we got to be on top of the game every week.
You would have done a great job. We've got a lot, of, a lot of young guys on the defense, and, and obviously they're playing extremely well, and um, they're doing everything that we're asking them. A lot of people were asking during the game, like, why aren't they running the ball? But it's almost impossible running against them early, isn't it? I mean, it is. They're 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 tough, and we knew that was going to be tough to run the ball and establish the run. And um, you know, they're just really disciplined in what they do, and they got a lot of big guys, and it's hard to, to create holes. So the pass, I mean, that's a game. This is a game where the passing game probably needed to step up a little bit. Yeah, it did. It did, and, and obviously we struggled. Is it maybe good for you guys to have you know some adversity in the fourth quarter and have to go on a drive like that where you're down with the game on the line? I think it definitely builds character. I think it, it kind of builds confidence and uh, proves what we can do. I mean, everything you know, from my side went wrong, and but we were still able to dig it out. So I think it just proves how good the team are. You but mentioned the defense. They've really come together with so many young guys as well, a new coordinator. Have they surprised you by well, how well they played? No, they have. I mean, all throughout spring ball last year and summer in camp, I mean, they've, they've gotten better. Um, all the time, and then they keep getting better, and, and they played really well and gave me a lot of problems. So I was expecting them to do really well. You guys haven't lost since the Oklahoma game. I'm sure, this team is despite being so young. Well, I think it was just that Monday right after the game. Uh, everyone came to work and had the right attitude, and um, it really could have gone either way. We could have been down the dumps, and it could have really affected us and lost the next game. But uh, everyone came back on Monday, was ready to work hard and watch the film, and, and, and willing to learn from what they did. And, um, just had the right attitude. Chris Fisher said something about a rat. He told you guys there's going to be a rat when you get home. People are going to try to break this team up. Do you remember him telling you that at that discussion at all? Yeah, he, he, I remember saying that. And, and you know, obviously, we're just playing at our own expectations. And we're not worried about what everyone else is saying. Played seven straight tough games. And, um, you know, we got a week off, got a couple of days off next week. And, um, and obviously, this NC State game is going to be huge. So it's, it's good to get a couple of days rest. You know, especially for your elbow and the extra day. Talk about that. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think. Um, I, mean, I don't know how it's going to feel tomorrow, but um, I mean, yeah, it's going to help me out. Christian, what happened in that fumble? Um, I, I tried to, to pull the read, and it was zone read and end crash. I tried to pull it and um, got stuck on his hip, and, and you know, I lost the ball. It was, it was my, my fault. And this win gives you a, a, a sixth win. You're going to be in a bowl game again this year. You extend the nation's longest streak. Does that mean anything to the team? I know your goal is to go to BCS bowl. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't think anyone really thought about you know us being bowl eligible. I think our high, our expectations are so high right now that we haven't really thought about it. And um, but I think that is big. I mean, well, I was, our, our, one of our goals is just to make a bowl game, and, and we've achieved that so far. So it's definitely positive. Yeah, a little bit. But I think a lot of it just goes back to my, my mental mistakes is, is what cost us, and it had nothing to do with where I threw the ball. But is that what – you seem fr- – I mean, you just won a game, but you seem frustrated. Yeah. Is that the reason because the senior quarterback was – Yeah, I mean, I, I did everything to, to lose this game. And, uh, I mean, I'm just very fortunate that we came out and everyone else played well around me. And, um, but yeah, I mean, I put us in a lot of tough positions. Well, the uh, defense and special teams both, I mean, made a bunch of good plays there. I and mean, that, that's what he's preached, right? I mean, yeah, I mean, we're, we're playing well as a team. And everyone else picked up the offensive slack today. And, and um, I mean, that's what we need to, to get to the goals that we have. You see something about the fans that came out today, uh, 15,000 people more than more at the weight game. What does that do for the team? I think it definitely riles us up and, and motivates us. I mean, it, it does make a lot of difference when, when those fans are there. and. Uh, it definitely brings a, a home field advantage. You know, it seemed like they were almost reading those passes out in the flats. Did did you have the feeling that they were anticipating, they had seen it on film, they were expecting those kind of throws in that situation? Well, we know just their coverage, they're, they're, I mean, watching film and their backers did a great job expanding the flats. and. Um, so we, I mean, we knew that going into it. That's what they were doing. After this one, that you guys were able to pull off the win. Uh, yeah, I think so. I think definitely from the stand, my standpoint, um, you know, I, I played pretty bad, and you know, everyone else you know, stepped up and, and helped me to, to pull out this game. And I mean, BC's had our number the past couple of years, and, and for us to, to win this game and win another ACC game and an inter, interdivisional game, uh, it's definitely huge. How's the arm? It's fine. Uh, you know, just busted a burst of sack, swelled up a little bit, but that'll be fun. Talk about the uh, talk about the uh, the play with Burt Reed uh, scoring the touchdown. Play. Yeah, that, that was huge for us. Obviously, we're behind in the game, and and we just ran a little reverse. Burt's our, our reverse guy, and and Taiwan made a great play, on, a great block on the backside, and really sprung him, and he used his speed and uh, scored a huge Personally, head into that game. Uh, I mean, adjustments. I don't, I don't know. I don't have to change my game. I mean, I just. Got to play better. I mean, that's what it goes down to. You guys have, I mean, when after this break, I mean, you guys are going to have, I mean, you're in great position. I know you're not happy about the way you play, but you guys are 6 and 1. Playing, I mean, you're in a great position for the rest of the season. We are. And, I mean, we 
we keep winning games and keep winning ACC games, and um, we're, we're in a good position right now. But I mean, it's not going to matter if, if we go and lose the next game again after that. So we got, still got a lot of games to play. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks. It's a nice slide, dude. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well.